I was gonna say I watch. Wait, it might just just watch the whole stream. But look at all these ga videos of the trailers that came out today. What this can't be? It was two hours, but IGN probably added another hour of coverage. Oh, okay. Well, we can just choose from here. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Oh God. I saw Ninja Gaiden on Steam today. Was that was that the same one that came out? Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. It's come out today. The Master Collection. Hmm. June 9th. People don't like it. I want to play this, actually. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Nine or ten hours ago, the oldest. Okay. Dude, IGM pumps these videos out like nothing. Up, up. Hmm. Okay. 15 hours free gay. Mm. Game Builder Garage. When does that come out again? Lost Ark Game Trailer. Director's Cut Teaser. Uh, Death Stranding. I don't need to watch that. I'm probably going to get that, actually. Director's Cut, though. I mean... Have you played De Death Stranding, Harbiscus? Jurassic World Evolution 2 trailer. I mean, that's the, that's the park game, right? I don't really care about that, but we could watch that. Nope. Damn, I wish I watched this with you. We could have commentated. I messed up, bro. That's okay. Forgot the lessons. We abused our power. Yo, I'm right. We abused our power. So it's just this. We up. played with genetics. Like, uh, like it was a toy. It's Steve Goldblum. Wait, that's his name, right? Jeff Goldblum. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. Ah, that uh, was so forced. This Bruh. is a very different world. Oh, yeah, didn't Jeff Goldblum... Uh, narrate the first one. Water. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, <clears throat> Masters of the Universe He Man game. That seems. Tiny Tina's Wonder World Metal Slug Tactics reveal. Yeah, I maybe we just watch the whole thing. Let me see here. Oh, la, 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 la. The face comes to stage. Does does his like the Hedgehog Symphony Orchestra? Yes, that's really a thing. Now, like a great video game, there may be some twists along did it, the way. Did the did the did the Sonic Orchestra happen today? I missed that. Don't tell me I missed that. Don't tell me I missed that scene where he's delivered until you see what we have planned for the end game that is all i'm allowed to tell you right now this is just the start of a big summer game fest weekend of news and updates for fans including live streamed events from publishers like xbox and bethesda prepare prepare i mean good night i'm rich good night wonderland Wonderlands. Fate. It soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. From the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. What a gameplay. Make your own. Looks like uh, Borderlands, Wonderlands, Borderlands, Wonderland. Who's that? Wanda Sykes. 
I know her. Will Arnett sounds familiar. Highness. Two K. It's a, they should rename themselves the Four K. Wonderland. It's made by Borderlands people. Early 2022. I don't know. Seems cool. It depends Tiny on. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is official and joining us now. The gameplay. Yeah, it's definitely the Borderlands people. All right, coming early it's definitely the Borderlands people. Guilty Gear. Nah, I already have Gears Tactics, but yeah. I have to play that still. No, anime. Fio. Hmm. Is this the same universe as Guilty Gear Strive? Or whatever? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Some good games. Okay, Charlie Boy. Blow the bridge. This is the an we're just watching anime. Metal Slug, whoops. That's not Guilty Gear at all. Metal Slug. Why did I think that was Guilty Gear? Okay, we have another big announcement for you from a surprise guest, but it's well past. <laughs> Hello. Sure. Right. Mr. Kojima, it is so good to see you. Thank you for joining us uh, from Tokyo. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask, how are you doing? How are you feeling? No, his how hair is getting right gray, now, though. Uh, in Japan. Tokyo Destiny. It's not over yet. It's not over exactly. Well, we certainly hope that you're going to get your vaccine soon. Um, let me ask you, as a creator, how has this past year impacted you? ま、自分がいる世界を見てで、地続きで5年後、10年後、20年後どうなるかっていうのを考えながらそこにエンターテインメントを加えていって、ま、作ってたのが結構その10年後、20年後にあたってたりっていうのがあったんですけど、今回の
このコロナでガラリとあらゆるものが変わっていくものすごいスピードで変わっていくんで,でそこでエンターテインメントが遅れを取ってしまうとダメなんでそれをどうするかというその予測ですね。あのーまあ、全くこう宇宙人が攻めてくるとか、えー、そういうゲームであればあのコロナ禍でも関係ないんでしょうけど、えー、やっぱりこう、えー、社会性の基盤を持ったエンターテインメントっていうのを作りたいですし、えー、皆さんに起こりつつあることをエンターテインメントの中でちょっとこう紹介したいというのもあるので今後の世の中がどちらの方向に向かっていくかっていうのが今まで以上にすごく急激に変わっていっているので。そこを間違えないように作るというか、えー、そこはすごく神経質になってます今。ああ、right. fair enough。I tried、uh,。Well, m i s h i k o j i m a honestly, I, I really do appreciate you making the time to stop by and just say hello to everyone.、Uh, we miss you and we can't wait to see what you're working on、uh, next. So,、um, thank you. Ah,、uh, Jeff, Jeff.、Uh, one more thing. Oh, 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 Death Stranding 2. I mean,、uh, Skyrim Remastered. Skyrim based on how Hideo Kojima sees it. UPS Simulator. UPS guy. So now it's more action y. It、added more action. I don't know.、Uh, bodies. They're defending the bodies. Hey, it's Master Chief. He's in the game. He's in the game. Yep, no one's in this cave. Not at all. Graphics. Pretty good. Mega Man. That box was kind of light, lighter than the other stuff around it. That's like an old thing. That's an old game play, a game、uh, thing. Oranges were in there. He, he's making. Kojima's making you think about it. Oranges, oh my god. Why were there like 10 oranges? There was only 10. Reckon. Metal Gear Solid throwback. What happened to the boxes on his back, though? Bro, who jumps in a box? What if it takes place in the future of、uh, Metal Gear's universe? Maybe. He's carrying Big Boss. He's carrying Big Boss. The whole time. His clone. There you have it. Death Stranding Director's Cut finally confirmed. I hope I make it into the Director's Cut. <laughs> I'm told the full reveal is just weeks away. St- I'm thrilled to be here. Hey, I was watching your show. <laughs> Why、um, is he here? And I was、oh, yeah. wondering、uh, if there might be some video game world premieres, as you say. I can't believe、uh, I missed、sure、this enough, live. Yeah, uh, 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 there, there is.、I'm、there、done. is. Yes, we do like our world premieres around here. Any chance you、uh, brought one with you today? Well, it's funny you should say that. Yes, you could say,、uh, yes, I do.、Uh, if you don't mind, I've、uh, got something here. I'm going to read it. On this, there's a little bit of a teleprompter that they're putting up here. So I'm going to read something because I don't want to get it wrong. I want to, I'm very. He's wearing an old school、this. watch so, or something. Here's a dramatic reading of this game announcement. Ready? I'm going to make the game announcement right now. Hello. 
I'm here to welcome you to a very different world. It's going to elevate you to new heights. It's going to submerge you to new depths. Maybe even challenge you to control chaos. Sonic. Actually, Sonic it's going to Adventure. challenge you to control chaos. It's a world um, so called evolved. Death Take Stranding. a look at the, you guessed it, you guessed. world premiere. Yeah, all the very sorry. That makes sense, yeah. Forgot the lesson. From Smilegate RPG and Amazon Games. Lost Ark? What's this about? What's this about? What is this about? The Lost Ark is now but a myth they found it a relic from the half remembered chain war smile geek but now our world has been torn once again the demons have returned with roaring destruction and waking nightmares. Um. What is, uh, what do you call it? Like League of Legends style? Or Diablo? Superman Now out of hope we turn to myths to prove that not all is lost Lost Ark is it what is that uh League of Legends style or is that Diablo? I can't tell because they have like an army behind them all sometimes. Not all the time. I need to write this down. Lost Ark Fall 2020. Sometimes when you play a game, there's that one thing in your inventory which turned out to be far more useful than you first realized. That's kind of like Prime Gaming. Right, 22. If you're an Amazon Prime member, and most of you probably are, you get a ton of gaming goodies every Fall month. Fall 2022. Month, you can download Battlefield 4 and Batman the Telltale series completely free for PC, and there are special in game benefits and perks. GTA Online. Nanda. Perks Online. Uh, let's somebody, see. You know, in somebody's closet. Let's see what we got here. Perks Online. Yo, we got some games. We got Spirit Spit Kiss. We got Mugsters. We got Batman Telltale Series. Lost Harmony. Newfound Courage. BFF or Die. RuneScape. Hmm. Maple Story thingy. Wait, what? Twitch Prime. 50% off Twitch Prime sub. Claim. Claim it. Yeah, whatever. That's pretty much it. These are all other stuff. The bottom is where the games are. They put the games on the bottom. Valorant, Apex Legends, and more that you can unlock. It's awesome value, and honestly, this kickoff show would not have been possible without the Prime Gaming folks believing in my vision for a new way to bring you the news this summer. Um, 
So head over to gaming.amazon.com to check out all the perks and free games, which change every month, but you get to keep them forever. Mamma mia. Yeah, that's why I always claim them. I always claim them. Just to, even if I don't play them, I claim them. Every week. Uh, yeah, we got him. Operators. Um, I'm super excited about the hijacked Gulag. Warzone. We've got expanded zombies content. Appreciate it. Do right, we have a... Lots of summer game fest kickoff to go. But right now, we've got a surprise guest joining us. My fellow Canadian, Ryan Reynolds. Hey, Ryan. Well, thank you, Jeff. And hello, summer game fest. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. And no... I'm, I'm not here to announce I'm the star of Elden Ring, I think. Instead, no, I'm making, uh, I'm telling you to talk about good old-fashioned movies. He said it. You remember those things? Of course you don't. Look, um, I have a new movie coming out August 13th called Free Guy, um, and in this movie I play an NPC character uh, in a popular open-world video game uh, until I break free and I realize that it kind of sucks to be a, you know, lonely background character on an endless walk cycle. So... Now here's one of those world premieres. It's a first ever look at our cast on the big screen this August. And honestly, it's been so long I can't even remember who's even in this movie. I didn't say that. I'll cut that out. Yeah, I'll do it right now. My name is Guy. I thought I movie. had everything I needed. Oh crap. Oh, oh. I'm not gonna watch that. Who's this blue shirt guy? Among Us. Hey. Blue... We can... It's a guy, ladies. No easy way to say this. Bro, we, we can't it. watch that. New, new yeah. Among Us map? Okay. Always. Always into the east. Uh. I'm gonna just watch it like this. Lost Ark. We watched that already? I think we did. It goes in order by when it released. I'm all confused now. Lost Bark, Solar Ash looks interesting. The Anarch thingy uh, looks interesting. Smite and Strain. Uh, I'll watch that. Lost Ark again. Uh, wait, what? Gameplay. I'll watch that too. House of Ashes. Watch that. Blood Hunt. Aha, yes. That's coming out soon. Escape from Tarkov Battle in the Streets gameplay. Okay. Tales Arise gameplay. Was that Kingdom Hearts? Looks like a Kingdom Hearts symbol. Hearts. I guess I'll watch that too. Endless Dungeon. Monster Hunter Stories. I'll watch that too. Overwatch 2. Rocket League Fast 9. Okay. What? Near Automata in Fall Guys. Spoilers. Paladin's Den. Back for Blood teaser. Uh, Evil Dead the Game. Elden Ring. I kind of want to watch that, like, as the video. Two Point Campus, Elden Ring gameplay. Genshin Impact character. Dark Alliance. They had Dark Alliance on there? Oh, I got to watch this now. I'm just going to watch it. This game looks cool. Salt and Sanctuary. Creators of Salt and Sanctuary. Our sins will catch up with us. Always. I was given a second chance. I spoke the words. Nordic lore. I drank the mage bait. Looks like Dark Alliance. Uh, that menu. I live now only to hunt mages. Mage hunter. Oh, he put him in the, he got him in the peepee. -pee. Co-op. Online. 
Because no one use no one knows how to use uh, the Steam local uh, thing. Apparently, they have to make it online. Salt. That's all it's called. <laughs> Wait, it's not on Steam. That's hilarious. Okay. PS4 salt. Salt. Thanks, Shu, and that's not all. Today, we're also able to share with you a brand new trailer from the upcoming Annapurna and Heart Machine game, Solar Ash, which is coming to PlayStation later this year. Solar Ash. Annapurna. Oh, it's the people who made Fury for sure. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. All right, write this down. It's gotta be the same maker. It's gotta be. Maybe not. Hyperlight Drifter. Gameplay like this is kind of weird because, like, you can just watch anyone do this. The same exact input. I mean, PS4 exclusive and PS5 that again. So so great! Can't wait. Yo, to come on! I can't see. I can't see that fast. Twenty twenty one. Okay. That looks so so great! Can't wait to see it later this year. Now, this week, there is a ton of video game news, but there's also a big game launching across console and PC, Chivalry 2, which brings 64-player multiplayer medieval battles to light. Sledgehammers, swords, axes, you name it, and it comes from Torn Banner Studios in my hometown of Toronto, Canada. Here's a look at the launch trailer for Chivalry 2. Do I have Chivalry? Let me see. And they said Chivalry. Okay. I do? Dedicated server? Huh? No. Okay. Which you can play right now. I can play it for free? For free? Oh, let me check. Nah, he would have said for free if it was right now. Chivalry 1. Made by Tom Banner. Deadliest Warrior. Uh, I didn't can't play it right now. PS4 exclusive again. It's gotta be a PS4. Warrior, there comes a time when a moment will decide your fate. Uh, kind of like the time when you ran directly into battle. Uh, as the first guy. Is it just modded Chivalry 1, though? Could you always uh, do that? I think you could fight with less limbs in uh, Chivalry 1, too, as well. their voice chat right now ps4 not on steam dude steam is getting under attack right this now this month valorant from riot celebrated its one year anniversary and starting next monday june 14th prime gaming members will get an exclusive player card to celebrate the one year anniversary and a pity party spray through june 25th this is all leading up to the release of episode three of the game later this month what what game celebrated with an epic ww fest unlocked year one stream on june 25th. chivalry but there will also be a new agent. Who could it be? Well, here's your first very, very exclusive, but very, very quick tease to whet your appetite with more to be revealed later this month. 
during Summer Game Fest. Should be live, right? Oh, Fortnite. Valorant. Okay. That's already out, though. I told you it was very, very quick. That's already out. All right. Uh, warring PMC factions face off against each other in Escape from Tarkov, the popular multiplayer first-person shooter video game developed by Battlestate Games. Today, we've got an exclusive new look at the streets of Tarkov, the new area of the game under development. Dragon Ball? So far? Yeah, the stream should still be live. Um... This is Tarkov. Dragon Ball? What's Dragon Ball? Uh, oh, Legends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me do that right now. I think I didn't get the daily today. I think it's too late. It's midnight. Oh, no. Thanks for telling me. Tarkov. So far, you wouldn't know. Is this cool? Have, did you watch the Summer Game Fest already? I missed it. I can't believe it. So, uh, I'm not sure what's new here. I mean, the actual gameplay is like just waiting in a hallway for like five minutes and then die. <laughs> Entire map is new. That's good. I like the music. Surprise, motherfucker! He said the meme. That's a meme. Surprise, mother trucker. Yo, Charlie Boy's a Charlie Boy is a hard sell. I kind of like that, but uh, yeah. Hey, people who like Tarkov are having a great day today. That's for sure. So I'm happy for them. Get a new map. When I was a kid, the simulation games of Peter Molyneux were some of my favorites. Adding that extra salt on the fries in the theme park to increase your drink sales was so devilish. Well, many of the team members behind those sim games what went did they do? Two Point Studio and Two Point Hospital. Well, today we're excited to share the first trailer for their next Two Point simulation, Two Point Campus. Mm, two Point Hospital. That's where the Sonic, the, first of the, school gets the Sonic uh, the collab is going to happen in that game. Of nights, jousting. Well, I can't say I remember that part, though it wasn't like this in my day. You see, what is this like, SimCity? But like with a campus? Nowadays, education has to be fun. It can't be all work and no play, and quite right too. Frankly, the results speak for themselves. Academia has never been more appealing, more dynamic, more whatever this is. Today's campus is a place to live and a place to learn. Finally crafted by the sharpest minds that money can buy. What do you do? You just watch them. Uh, Sometimes yeah. you still can't get the stuff. Yes, these days it really does feel as though anything is possible. It's, it's, this game could be a trip. For sure. Huh. If you don't take it seriously, just do whatever. Two point campus. Class 
And roll now for a free item. This year, I am thrilled to have Netflix as a part of Summer Game Fest. They have been doing an incredible job adapting games with series like Castlevania and the Witcher. Dota anime. Well, Witcher. there is a lot more coming, and you don't have to wait long to find out more. Tomorrow, I'm honored to be guest hosting Netflix's Geeked Week live stream with Mari Takahashi and Uhu Kohli. Uh, you can expect the first clip of the Cuphead show, which, spoiler alert, this show is going to be an absolute sensation. I can't wait for you to see it. I'll also sit down with the team behind Arcane, the League of Legends. Oh, by the way, I got Super Saiyan for Goku in Dragon Ball Legends the other day. On, the Witcher and the live on my birthday, actually. Evil series. Geeked Week is streaming live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Here's a little sneak peek. I'm not going to be there. What is Geeked Week? Um, is hosting a free virtual event full of I thought that was Hassan. Exciting first looks and the people who make the shows and films you love on Netflix. Comics, games, movies, zombies, animation, sci-fi, fantasy. Okay, but the potential are the other pair. In your hand. No black eye as a radiant ranger thing. A witcher and much more. People you love. From the shows you love, live. Grab your devices, tuck in, and join Netflix Geeked for Geeked Week. Very nice week. visuals. There's so much to get geeked about. Geeked Week. We aren't done with Netflix just yet, though. Coming up next is Smite, a cross-play, cross-platform game that continues to do some pretty <clears throat> amazing IP crossovers. You may remember last summer we announced the Avatar The Last Bender one. Uh, um, well, as Smite enters its ninth year, it's time to go upside down. Wow. Troll's definitely going to play that again. <clears throat> what a random collab. Basically has Mewtwo's powers. Psychic ability. Who wants to be that guy? Demogorgon? Who's that? Uh, that's probably season three or whatever. Oh, they got that guy too, huh? Wow. They got some random cop. Hopper. Or Vice City Tony. Next up, we announce a lot of games on my shows, but I think this is the first time we are Matilda. announcing an entirely nice. Good new idea. game label, new game publisher. Enjoy this first look at more than 12 games that make up its initial slate. Fortnite? These are really good graphics. Sometimes I ask myself what what it all means. Let's begin. Destiny 2. Low frames guy. Wow, looks cool. That one second of gameplay. God Eater? I don't know. It's a trailer for everything. What, what is that game right there? That looks real right there. <laughs> Shit. Is that who you are? My purpose makes me who I am. <laughs> I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. Being relied on to Is that gun grave? Others would fail. <laughs> oh, I even called it. Oh, yeah. Gun grave outward. What's that one game? What's that one game they showed? I don't even know.
<laughs> gun is that gun grave? Boom. Right on the screen. I was like, wait a minute. Prime Matter Payday 3-2, and there is actually one more game added to the mix. And for that, we go to Todd Holland's head from Saber. Todd, how Gungrave you know? made by the same guy who made Trigun. Jeff, thank you for the intro there. I'm really excited. He has Agent Smith statue. Last edition, which is, is that Saber and Prime Matter are working together on a new game in the Painkiller franchise. All right, very cool on that. And there are more details on Prime Matter coming tomorrow with a stream at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will be stopping by. Next up is a brand new IP from a brand new studio, Stray stopping Bomb by. Bay. It's coming this fall only to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass on day one. It's called the Anacrusis, a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set aboard a massive starship stranded at the edge of explored space. You team up with your friends in an infinitely replayable fight against alien hordes to unlock perks, weapons, and new ways alien to play that you can share with your team. Here is the world premiere trailer. World premiere. Hello? <laughs> Nessa! Looks like Left 4 Dead. Leo! Probably made by the same game. Oh no, it's a new company though. Bro, it's like a Left 4 Dead mod. Huh? 20 game. True. Take your pulse. This is not good. It's not good. Uh, what if you open the doors and run? Just run. No stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that pressure! Atari? Heavy. Really? We call them tanks. The Anacrusis. From Latin, Brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Gion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? No, I'm good. Brute! Brute. Anacrusis. Crucis. Awesome look. Thanks for that chat and the team at Stray Bomb Bay. Uh, tomorrow, tune into Summer Game Fest for a special deep dive presentation on New World, a new open world MMO from Amazon Games set on the supernatural island of Eternum. It's finally coming out later this summer, and in the deep dive video, game director Scott Lane will take players into the mysterious supernatural island that is a world of wonder and hmm. horror. Once you arrive, it's up to you to unite warring human factions to take on a common, common enemy, the Tempest, who wants to unmake life. Scott and the team will detail updates to the game, including new mid and end game content, more PVE and expeditions, five player challenges with unique mechanics, bosses, loot, and more. Six of these expeditions will be at launch with the closed beta on July 20th and the public launch on August 31st. I will also be down at the studio to chat with Scott about the game and the team's efforts over the past year in the midst of COVID. It is exciting for me to finally be able to get out there and visit game studios again. I miss all these developers. So check out the special deep dive stream on New World tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern at SummerGameFest.com. All right, well, back in 2018, Rocket League teamed up with Fast and Furious, bringing some of the saga's most iconic cars into the game. And now they are back with a twist that is truly Rocket League with Fast 9, the next installment of the Fast Saga arriving in U.S. theaters June 25th. Psyonix is bringing back the Nissan Skyline, Dodge Charger, and, well, maybe the most literal, supersonic, acrobatic, rocket-powered heist car ever conceived, the F9 Pontiac Fiero. Show me the car. I already had don't they already had that? I guess uh Is that it? Bruh. That's cool, I guess. Uh I mean June seventeenth, I can play Rocket League in Jet. Strap a rocket engine to a car and play soccer seems like the right idea to me. The Fast and Furious three-car bundle arrives June 17th in mm. Rocket League. Okay, next up, last year, a new Swedish company named Shark Mob released a teaser for their first unnamed multiplayer project in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Tonight, 
We're putting a name on their first game with a brand new world premiere trailer. World premiere. Masquerade. I've seen that game on Steam, but you, that's one of those games you decide to buy it or not. It's always there, though. For centuries, we have lived in secrecy among you. Cyberpunk. Maintaining the masquerade. We have influenced your society. Fed on your blood. Thrived among you. Among you now. It's like vampires. It's a uh, better combat. Customize. Become. Blood hunt. Blood hunt. Blood hunt. I can't wait to play this game, and we actually won't have to wait long. You can sign up now for the bloodhunt.com, is where you go, for the closed alpha PC test, available on July 2nd. Blood Hunt will be released later this year. Next, the latest horror game series from the creators of Until Dawn continues with the House of Ashes, part of the Dark Pictures anthology. This third game features American and Iraqi soldiers stranded in a cursed temple. Here's the story trailer with the exclusive reveal of the monsters lurking in the depths. Bro. Among us. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber Vampire? and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. But I strongly suspect where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. Ready to go, guard. To descend into the unknown Better in every way. is extremely brave. Right now, hold fire. Or extremely foolish. We're gonna sigh out this shit. Brothers in arms, or will it be a case of each man for himself? Get down, get down! They're up on the wrist! Return fire! You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Oh, shit. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Where on God's green earth have we landed? The mummy. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? You keep lookout. Look out? Look out for what? One by one, their lights will be uh... snuffed out. Unless you can find the means to save them. Trapped beneath the earth. Swallow. We have to move. Let's go. By the void. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness forever. OP enemies. House of Ashes. Hmm. Ooh. Wait, October twenty twenty one. PC. You see? Hold on. Pause the game. <laughs> uh, what's this called? House of Ashes. October. 
2021, the 22nd of October. Carry on. Oh, yeah. Pure. Well. One of the longest, most beloved JRPG franchises in the industry is the Tales of series. Well, the latest game, Arise, was announced two years ago, and it brings the franchise into stunning 3D with Unreal Engine 4. Here's a world premiere look at the latest trailer, with more information following in the coming weeks. Anime. Oh, I like a cut, G. Pretty fancy place they got here. Harmony What's and coexistence. Azura between the Renans and the Danans. Dragon Quest. I'm Dohilim Ilkaris. Should you need my skills on the battlefield, all I care for is maintaining peace. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Men oh. Yo, what up, Do? Yo, what up, Do? From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. Yeah. Get toasty. Burn strike. Looking good. Looking good. Been looking for you. Cloud. Get the hell out of my realm! This is Tannin's realm and it's ours, understand? Fate can be challenged. Is it over? It's not, only just begun. Not till the fish jumps. It's over. Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise Sept ten Yeah the, the dates happen so quick For Summer Game Fest we have a special announcement for you. At the console I'm, right, I'm writing them down to know is a schedule. So I remember when to play like certain games or when to prepare for it. Schedule. Enjoy the Professional gamer here, okay? It's all here. It's all here, man. What happened? I'm not buying that. <laughs> what was that? Take great pleasure in is using a platform like this show to introduce you to new developers and studios with games that deserve the spotlight. That's definitely the case with this next title from a small Swedish studio named Wishfully. Planet of Lana tells the story of a young girl and her loyal friend. I like the theme of this. Through a colorful world that's designed to feel like a gouache watercolor painting come to life. Here's your first look at the Planet of Lana coming to Xbox and PC in 2022. Okay. Planet of Lana. Let's take a look. I'm in front of you. In game. Really? Little Prince? I'm not buying this. Okay, I'm buying this every day. I'm buying the open beta. I'm buying it. What? Oh, you're in PSO2. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still logged in. That's weird. How did you assume I was a streamer? How did you know? Hard to know. 
You look cool. I like your style. You have like a shark outfit. Oh, sorry. What did we miss? Oops. Some giant spider. My bad, y'all. My bad. It's like a niche guns. Okay. I'm writing this down. No. Yeah, I'm not I'm not writing this down. No. Nope. Not doing it. Maybe. No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Planet of Lana, I'll wish list it. Planet. What a beautiful artistic game. Honor to have that on our show. Well, joining me now is Aaron Keller, who's the game director of Overwatch 2. Aaron, uh, great to have you here on Kickoff Live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, we are excited That's to learn shame. more about what's planned for Overwatch 2. You guys Bente. recently you had a, a PvP live stream that I watched, and you revealed some uh, some changes coming to Overwatch 2. Uh, what can you tell us? What's the latest? Well, yeah, so on. we recently announced. To do. That's what we need to do. So we recently announced that Overwatch 2's format is changing to a 5v5 team format. This requires a fresh look at all of our heroes in the game. It should feel new yet familiar to fans of our strategic Look at their shoes. Combat. Yeah, uh, it was great to see you guys playing and, uh, you know, I didn't, long awaited for people to get a chance to go hands on with it. Um, and today I know you brought us a look at uh, some skins for some of the uh, some of the characters, right? Yeah, the yeah. team is so passionate about updating. He's going to show us some skin the of the world of Overwatch. And one aspect of that is creating entirely new models for Overwatch 2 for all of our heroes. So today we're going to be looking at two of those, uh, Baptiste and Sombra. All right, well, let's take a look here, and I know you're going to tell us a little bit about what we're seeing, but uh, it's so cool to see these characters brought into Overwatch 2. So yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, so this is Baptiste, um, and there's a lot of new technology that go into our models. New technology. Uh, we have new share hater tech, or <laughs> hair shader tech, excuse me, um, in order to, to get the look that we're going for with his haircut. He also has a glowing cape and gloves that kind of um, give that he medic looks cool. or surgeon vibe to him. Thank you. It's incredible. And, uh, are we going to Sombra, I think? Right? Yep. So next up is Sombra. This was a very challenging look for us to update. I like There's, that, too. It's an asymmetrical design. There's so many layers of hair and clothing and technology in this. If you look closely, you can wow, actually see the crocs. circuitry and nodes she has the crocs. in her clothing. She's a world-class hacker, so it all makes sense. <laughs> no, again, it's, you know, so great for fans. Hot characters stuff. Hot stuff. The first game updated for Overwatch 2. It's a good logo too. To see, uh, more on the game. We on the side. A little sneak preview here, and I'm sure there'll be more later this year on Overwatch 2. You bet. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thanks very much, Aaron. Uh, now, recently I had a Check chance to technology. play Dungeons and Dragons: Dark Alliance with the game developer Jeff Adam, Hannibal Burris, and Ember Moon from the WWE. That's right. You didn't expect me to what? say that, but this game is a ton of fun, and it's coming to Game Pass on June 22nd. Take a look. Oh yeah, boy! Hey guys, yeah. Jeff Keeley, and today, as part of Summer Game Fest, we are going hands-on with a game that is coming out in just a couple of weeks. It is Dark Alliance, and we've got Jeff, one of the game developers from 2K. Jeff, wow. special guests: Hannibal Burris and Ember Moon. Okay. She dressed okay. up. What is uh, this? That looks like oh, a trap. Oh, that spice. looks like a trap. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Traps. Ow! Oh, oh shit! Oh no, you get. I a warrior's death, I died I'm again. I'm coming to get you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was so weird. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, I can't believe I'm down. I'm I hope down. this game is good. They changed the gameplay to three third person close up instead of top down. Intimate level to the point where my wrestling character that everyone sees on TV is actually based on this character. <laughs> the red what? eyes, Dritz? even though Dritz has purple, I just love everything about him that he's just constantly the good guy the entire time. Oh, oh, oh what the? Really? Chef. Uh, that 
doesn't look healthy at all. Oh, why did I just all run right, up on him like that? They better hire you next time. Nah, it's okay. We got him, we got him. Come on, he's gone, come on, he's gone. Come on. Gone. That's nice of you to say. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, what a death. I'm gonna have some weird dreams tonight because of that. Oh, he flipped us off. <laughs> Act complete. That was great. Yeah. Mm. She got, she got uh, soda can caps on her shirt. I hope that game's good, man. I feel... I feel it might be bad because they changed it because they had more money. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see the finger, but that's okay. I don't want to see that. I don't want to get spoiled from that, but that's okay. I'm going to be playing it, so I'll see it. Then. Overwatch 2? Oh, Paladin. I thought that was Overwatch 2. Is that bad? All right, Summer Game Fest kickoff live presented by Prime Gaming continues. Why is his Yesterday voice so low? Amazing tease of the next Battlefield from EA. And if you want to dust up on the history of the franchise, its last big modern day game, uh, that was Battlefield 4. It's this month. Prime Gaming members get to download it and play it for free through June 20th. Now, there's no catch. This is the full-blown PC version of the 2013 game, and those only in Battlefield moments still hold up. Just head to gaming.amazon.com to redeem your free copy right now if you are an Amazon Prime member. And this Sunday, watch the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase for the first gameplay footage of Battlefield 2042. Sunday, Bethesda. It's be really cool. Um, all right, right now, let's take a look at another world premiere. Monster Hunter Stories is coming to the Switch in July, and we've got your first look. At the story train. Mario Golf comes out tomorrow, right? Mario Golf. And something else comes out. Guilty Gear. Monster Hunter. I don't know, man. Oh, I... Wings of ruin. It's gotta blow my mind. It's gotta blow my mind if they want me to buy this. Like, actually blow my mind. Did they just come out with the Monster Hunter? It's like five Monster Hunters a year. It's more cartoony. Like we Zelda. Can't let you interfere with our plans. Breath of the Wilds. That's the Monster Red Song. Is it Breath of the Wild? No. Suppose he saw this coming? We won't let you awaken it. Stories two. There was a second one. There was a first one. So, you're going to be born, huh? You're going to be born, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> Amiibos. Yo, Anna looks cool. Oh, you received the linking up your save data. I'm not getting it. No. I'm not getting it. July 9th. I can still play Monster Hunter on Next, July. This legendary rock band hits the road this summer on the Hello Mega Tour with Green Day and Fallout Boy. But first, they came together with an indie developer to create stream safe music for the community. Yes, you can co-stream this performance. So turn it up. Premiering their brand new, never before released song, Tell Me What You Want, from Wave Break. This is Weezer. <laughs> okay. Well, here's an extended look All right. at Endless Dungeon. Thank you, Weezer. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're stuck in this wreck until everybody learns the rules. Endless dungeon. All of them. <laughs> that was one, me. Certain weapons work better on certain monsters. Learn it hmm. or that, die. That looks annoying. Oh. Option B then. 
Rule number two. Use turrets to protect that unstable dust bomb we call the crystal. Because it's their catnip. And if it goes, you go. Yep, just like that. Rule number three. Watch your squat. Even if you've got the guns, the turrets, and the crystal, you can't do everything by yourself. If you fight alone, you die alone. So, we're dead. Uh, together again. And rule number four? Well, if you've got all that going, but you still can't win, you gotta change the squad. Tag team. I'm in. What are you guys doing tonight? If you're lucky enough to have a PS5, you're probably getting ready to play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've been playing it and having. Bro, he said if you're lucky today, to have a PS5. Team Insomniac is going to be doing a special launch uh. stream on Twitch, and to tell us more, take it away, Marcus and Mike. Hey Jeff and everybody watching Summer Games Fest Kickoff Live. Marcus Smith here, creative director at Insomniac Games for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We're excited that players Rift finally Apart. get a chance to play the game tomorrow. Ratchet and Clank and, to and Clank Rift Apart. We want to spend some more time with you today. At 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, to live stream the first hour of Rift Apart. Isn't that right, Mike? That's right. Rift Apart. I'm Mike Daly, the game director of Rift Apart. In addition to playing through the opening of the game, we'll also be taking your questions live and talking about what it was like to develop Ratchet the game. Ratchet and Clank scenes. Rift Apart. So please join us at <laughs> twitch.tv slash insomniac games at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Sonic Rail. Who the heck is that guy? We'll see you there. We'll, we'll see you at we'll, we'll Rift Apart. We'll, we'll rift apart. All right, we're now about to be joined by the one and only John Carlo Esposito to talk Far Cry 6. Uh, John Carlo, thank you for joining us. So why did you want to take on this role? They came to me with this phenomenal idea. Oh, it's the Breaking uh, Bad guy. proposed that I play Anton Castillo, the leader of Yara, with this big vision and dream for his country. <laughs> And it, it really appealed to me because he was a guy who he played the same guy in every movie. His family and a love of his community and country, and it was so in in, in line. Oh yeah, with true. What's like going on that. in the world politically today, and what has happened in the past. I thought I don't know. What a great I, I get what you're saying. The other part of it is it's just a different technology that's so brand new, and it, it excites me as a filmmaker that I want to be a part of it. All right, well, you've played some absolutely amazing villains in your career. What was it like being a video game villain? No, I'm not a villain. I have to, I got to push back on you. I'll let you finish. <laughs> but this guy loves his country. He wants to empower you, Keely. He wants to empower you to stand up and speak your truth. Now you can go back to calling. What is that villain. door behind him? Well, you are smiling on the box. You're a good guy, right? What, I what is that door? I, I feel like we as human beings fall in love. Is that a window? And I, I, I want to be a renegade within reason. How do you like that? Because I think part and parcel of us falling in line and doing what we need to do, and thinking about the Real cumulative effect of our doing what's right, and the example of that is also to stand up and say, no, I do agree that. They're good and bad about all people, but this guy, out of his love and passion for his people, even if they're faceless to him at certain points in time, allow him to be an absolute hero. Uh, speaking of your character, who did you base him on or study to create this character? It's so interesting because, of course, the, the obvious choice to study is Fidel Castro, and it is Cuba, an island that had so many resources, but really the dream of the ability of the dictator to cultivate those resources, something got in the way there. And hopefully that can change in the years to come. It, funny you asked me that question because I was just talking to one of my daughters about Ceausescu and, and uh, also Hitler, uh, because we were talking about zodiac signs and 
what signs were certain people? What is that mindset that has you wanting to be have power over others? Uh, and for each dictator, it's different. She never heard of Ceausescu and studied political science and all this in college. Where did my money go? So anyway, so. All right. Well, one last question for you. Uh, who would win in a square off between Gus Fring, Moff Gideon, and Anton? You know, and I have my favorites in those two. So you asked me this question. Uh, and, and, you know, immediately I say Moff Gideon. Immediately. Who's that? You know, somehow I, I think Gus is colder. I haven't played control. that coldness in a very particular way. Uh, you know, Far I from think casual Anton has could be the most violent man on earth. I've heard uh, good things given his about situation, it. He may not be rise to that occasion or may not have the time. Moff Gideon is otherworldly. This guy thinks in a different way and he knows what you're thinking before you say it. And he he does all his own dirty work and he has an incredible tool to help. I him don't out. want so to do Moff your Gideon. dirty work. Fair enough. All right, uh, John Carlo, thank you so much no, for hanging out. Home. We will check out the revolution in Far Cry 6. And I can't wait for it to begin. Let the games begin! <laughs> awesome. All right, thank you so much, uh, John Carlo. If you haven't picked up on it yet, Prime Gaming unlocks a ton of in-game benefits for Amazon Prime, Prime members. Games? Like an exclusive Valkyrie skin in Apex Legends. Prime $200,000 in GTA cash every week you play GTA Online. GTA. And in Fall Guys, you get a special Burning Circuits costume for your bean through June 21st. Now, speaking of Fall Guys, wait, the time has come money? to reveal a brand new costume coming to the game based on a legendary game franchise. Check it out. Game franchise. Man, this must have been amazing to watch live. I can't I missed the Bomberman skin though. I gotta play more Fall Guys. For sure. June 18th. Genshin. I guess I'll play that again. in their vision will fade away. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time Melee the class. To glow again. Your opponent is new to the clash, but he has quickly become Melee? the dark horse of the tournament. The vision is missing. The sounds of nature turn into a clamor of noise during stormy weather. The winds are coming. Clouds hide. The birds come. The birds come. You play Genshin's mobile game? So today we've announced games, a publisher. I go back. Play now. So today we've announced games, a publisher, Prime Matter. So I thought that was Red Letter Media. Two. And joining me now are Dave Anthony and Jason Blundell from the newly formed Deviation Games. Uh, we know you guys well from all your amazing work over the years at Treyarch and Call of Duty Black Ops, but. Uh, what can we expect from your new studio, guys? Well, th thanks, Jeff. And uh, look, Jason and I, we've been mates for donkey's years. <laughs> and we're like an old married couple, Jeff. And uh, we've been working together for decades. And we've worked on some huge franchises. You know the games. You know, I use Epic, well. yeah. And, uh, but we thought, you know, when you're I working do. on those franchises, the long established IPs, you're working within very, very tight constraints creatively about what you can do. So we thought, after all these years, you know, what if we deviate it? Yes. So that's deviation <laughs> games. Okay. So Jeff, just trust me, all bets are off. All From right. day one, we got complete financial security yeah. to work with creative freedom and time, not just to make a brand new IP, which yeah. is what we're doing, but a groundbreaking new IP with innovation at its very core. Let's see and it. And the team at deviation games, the culture we have is really, really well, simple. Let's see it. It's, there's no place for ego. It's the best idea that always wins, and that's Deviation Games. All right, well, uh, oh, wow. big ideas from you guys, as we would expect. Now, I know it's very early, and uh, there is nothing to show on the game today, what? but can you tell us a bit about what kind of game you're making? What can we expect? Yeah, I mean, you're very right there, Jeff. Very early, but um, 
a lot of exciting stuff going on. So essentially, we spent the last year building the team, right? And so what we knew was we wanted to collect passionate, creative, collaborative people and bring them together kind of under one roof. And that's what Deviation Games is. So uh, yeah, we Deviation don't have anything to do right now, but that, that collaboration, that imagination is, is going on. And we're going to have something that's going to, uh, I think, leave an indelible mark in the industry when we come out. All right. Well, uh, with you guys involved, as I said, we're excited about it. There There's still an hour left. There is one more piece of the puzzle, though, that you want to reveal oh uh, today. And for what that, have I done? Let's take a look at this. I should watch this earlier. Deviators of the game. PlayStation exclusive. That's how you get the funding. That's how you get it. Okay, big news. The stage has changed. Uh, <laughs> Blue of PlayStation, so you're partnering with uh, with PlayStation. What can you tell us about that partnership? That's yeah. right, Jeff. And the partnership That's with right, PlayStation, Jeff. it's all about quality. From soup to nuts, this project is all about quality. Soup to and nuts. And our team of deviators that we have back uh, in the studio, we're doing this for you. We are so proud of you. Deviators. And um, the partnership with Sony, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, God, just look at the track record of consistency, of high quality games that they do hit after hit it's award after award and now we've been part of this process and we see how they do things yeah. it's really clear how they're managing to accomplish that so we couldn't be more proud to expand playstation's portfolio yeah. which we're going to do in a very very significant way i mean let's just face it right sony rocks and they they get our kind of brand of crazy so we're That's very right. happy with this partnership all right so deviation games playstation brand new ip a mega ip it sounds like coming in the future and uh, hopefully we'll See you guys again in the future to, to see more on what you're working on. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Awesome. All right, uh, Dave, Jason, thank you very much, hmm. guys. All right, well, this year is the 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and later this month, we are honored to be premiering the full Sonic Crunchy. Symphony performance. Oh, right now, here's the Philharmonic Orchestra in Prague no. performing the music of Sonic Unleash. Bro, I missed this live. I'm done. Wait, is this a hint that they're going to release Sonic Unleashed Remastered? Like, why would they pick this song? That's crazy. This could be big, actually. This could be a major hint. The clarinet. He's drinking soda. Who made up that instrument? How do you make up an instrument like that? How do you invent an instrument like the, the clarinet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a masterpiece. Oh. Why unleash? They showed the Werehog as well during the Sonic Central. They showed the Werehog. Now they're playing the Sonic Unleashed soundtrack at Summer Games Fest? What is this? Can't be. When's that? When is that? 12 Pacific, 3 Eastern, June 23rd. June 23rd. Oh. Love orchestra music. All right, Sunday, Warner Brothers Games and Turtle Rock will be giving players a new look at the zombie multiplayer fun of Back That's for Blood. That's Thursday. I can right watch now, that we've live. Got a quick tease of a new boss and news on the beta coming later this summer. Back for Blood. That's the name of the instrument? That's the name of the instrument, Charlie Boy? That's... I never heard of that. Oh, 
Oh. October 12th. Wait, they pushed it forward? I go back. Why the why the dates always so fast? The dates are so quick. Okay, so back for blood October twelve. Aug fifth. Beta. PvP showcase at two. One of the things I'm most passionate about is getting you guys access to play more games at home. Last year, Steam and Xbox did incredible demo events around Summer Game Fest, and this year, Steam's Next Fest starts next Wednesday, and Xbox is back again to do an ID at Xbox demo event, which I'm announcing right now. It starts on Tuesday, and it's completely free. No badges required. One of the games I'm most excited about in the lineup is Tunic from my fellow Canadian, Andrew Scholdice. Here he is to give you a little sneak preview of the brand new demo, which you can exclusively play on Xbox starting on Tuesday. Guns. Yeah, guns every day. Hi, my name is Andrew Schuldice, and I'm working on Tunic, which is an isometric action adventure about a tiny fox in a big world where you explore the wilderness, fight monsters, and find secrets. I first started working on it uh, about six years ago. Uh, it's been changing a lot over the years, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited about where we've gotten it to today. So in Tunic, you, you start the game and you are a little fox that's washed up on a beach and you don't have a whole lot of context except for, you know, uh, uh, a lust for adventure. You're and you are gonna wander off and maybe you're gonna find a stick and maybe if you venture a little bit further, maybe you're gonna find a sword. And it's really about that sense of discovery about wondering what's around the next corner. People have played the game at shows before, but we wanted don't to show put together us. a brand new demo that was you know, yeah. for the home audience. And so it's full of never before seen stuff, a brand new dungeon, a bunch of areas people haven't seen before. I've never seen it. i never seen that. I mean, I'm, I'm people. So excited about Tunic and Sable also uh, is gonna be one of the games in that along with a lot of other awesome titles. So check that out next week on Xbox. Uh, <laughs> next up, stave off Ragnarok in this ancient Norse-inspired co-op action survival RPG that you can also fully play solo. Cl classic hack and slash gameplay goes Viking in Norsefell's Tribes of Midgard, launching on PlayStation and PC July 27th. Here is the brand new trailer. The giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen by the gods to protect this realm. But your first task is to find some new clothes that aren't desert. Okay. Drafted. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Hunt down pets, gather rare resources, and explore the untamed world. Once you've plundered all you can carry, return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking resources. Gear. You must protect the seed of Yggdrasil at all costs. For this world and everything in it will be destroyed forever. Is she so take heed. The hell things rise when the sun sets. Destroy these dark spirits before they destroy the sea. Oh, I like that the, they come out at Shortorous night. Zombies. Night makes way for a new day to venture into new lands. Build to greater heights. Not bad, not bad. Creatures. Not bad. And with great risk comes great rewards. True but far, true. You're of little use to Midgard squashed by a troll. Craft legendary weapons, build deadly defenses, and grow the strength of your tribe because those giants are on their way. So is it multiplayer though? Yo. And it's time for us to end their path of destruction. Let's show them our might is greater walking. than their height. <laughs> As the saying goes, Valhalla can wait. Traps of Midgard. Pre order and received this shoe. Okay. Who's ready for some evil dead? We yeah. announced this game last December at TGA, and now it's time for an extended look at the gameplay now we're Tell talking more. let's turn it over to my friend tim willits yo who's that Saber. medieval gay hi jeff it's great to see you today 
we have some extended footage of the Evil Dead. His the vault. Game. Look at that statue we of are Iron Man. Excited to show you this, and to help me explain it is Bruce Campbell. Oh, we got Bruce Campbell talking about it. No shot. No shot. Alpha. It's Alpha. Nice. This could be like a continuation of the the show. Oh, it looks weird now. What the heck? Oh, that's the guy from the Evil Dead 3. That's Hola, that. cyber friends. I'm Bruce Campbell. You know me as Ash Williams, the dude who saved the world from evil. I'm here to bring you the lowdown on the upcoming this looks good. Dead, the game. This looks really good. Oh my god. You and your friends will team up as classic Evil Dead heroes he, to live the nightmare. You could be those you'll guys use too. Savage finishing moves or tear evil a new one. Or if you're not into the whole save the world thing, we have another option. Drive. So it's like play as the vile Kandarian demon itself. But who would want to do that? He'd be a dick. <sighs> With the power of possession in your arsenal, you'll scare those goody two shoes to death. Literally, you can do that if you're a dick. Whether you choose the path of evil or righteousness, you'll be throwing down in places you've seen before. You'll collect pages of the Necronomicon, uncover Nobi's lost tapes, and track down other legendary artifacts. We got a lot of uh, fight the 13th. Enough, you'll use a spell to send the Kandarian son of a bitch back to the hellhole it came from. <laughs> That's uh, Linda, I think. Soon you'll experience the horror yourself. But for now, I'll leave you with this thought. It was no accident that Ash always wore brown pants. <laughs> Yeah. Survival game where you actually kick butt. Looks good. You can actually fight the demons. Maybe the knight. Oh, oh it's him. I'll spoil those good luck. That's awesome. That's a cool bad guy to be. He's like he's like Darth Vader. Okay, guys. Now it's time for the grand finale to the show. What? This is extremely special. Elden Ring. Today, I am so deeply honored to be given the opportunity to share this next game. It comes from one of our industry's most acclaimed developers. Don't say it. Previous Game of the Year winner at don't, the Game Awards. Don't tell him. Oh, I yeah. want to personally thank this developer for believing in my vision of Summer Game Fest as a new way to bring all of us together for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time. Wow. He's a little excited about it. All right, everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Shh. Hmm, what is it? What is it going to be like? What, who is it? Are, what? are you a dragonborn? This looks like Bloodborne. George R.R. R. Martin? Wait, the what? The will soon return. Dark Souls. Guided by grace. Once lost. Elden Ring... Uh, The Golden Order is broken to its core. Hmm. Red horses now? This could be... Looks like Dark Souls a lot. Oh yeah, the piano. Sells it. Or is it Elder Scrolls, though? In search of the Elden Ring. Not the ring. 
That's the guy from the one of the games. They will Which one is it? And they will die. It's like a Dark Souls prequel? In an unending curse. Finally, time. Like Neil. Bullhead gay. Those are the other scrolls people are talking about. Oops. It actually happened. Elden Ring is coming, as you saw, January 21st, 2022, to next gen, current gen. It's so incredible. And I want to thank so much Miyazaki san and the team at From for sharing that in game look at Elden Ring. I hope you guys are happy. Oh my God. I'm free out of prison. All right. Uh, and that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest kickoff. I like live. the setup. Thank you so much to that's all crazy. the developers who took part, and for you and oh, watching like a light around the it's world. A, it's it a projector. Means so much to me. Summer Game Fest continues all weekend with Netflix Geeked Week and Prime Matter tomorrow, Ubisoft Forward on Saturday, and Xbox and Bethesda on Sunday, Square Enix as well. Head to summergamefest.com for the full and complete schedule. And this is really just the kickoff to summer and a ton of other amazing events that I'm fully supportive of and I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us as well. As for me, I'll see you again on August 25th for Gamescom opening night live. And this December, I am so happy to say that the Game Awards will return as an in-person ceremony at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. More details are coming later this summer. Thanks again for being a part of Summer Game Fest. We will see you tomorrow for more. And stay tuned for the Day tomorrow. of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine right now. Good night, everybody. What? All right. That's it. Uh, I thought they were talking about the Elder Scrolls, like that we're going to show gameplay for the Elder Scrolls. Wow. What did you guys think about it? Oh, that ring. I have to play the other Dark Souls. I have to start beating those games. I think I beat Dark Souls 2. I don't remember. Bloodborne, Dark Souls, I don't know. Two or three of them I beat. Out of like five or something. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, so what's going on tomorrow here? Tomorrow, I mean, it's probably at the same time. It's early. Why can't they do that night? Why can't they do that night? Uh, well, I'll, whatever. I'll keep you posted. If uh, if not, if I can't make it live, I'll watch it first thing. Stream if it's hype. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna play PSO two. I think we're done. I am a message. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. We're gonna end it there.